Hi, my name is Vincent and I work as an engineer here at Savitech Micropumps. Today I will show you how to program an Arduino to control one of our pumps. For this video I assume that you have some programming knowledge and are familiar with the Arduino environment. This is my setup. I use an adapter PCB to connect the pump to an Arduino. I have connected the receive and transmit lines and the ground. I use an Arduino that is 3.3 volt uh, operating voltage. So if you go to the Arduino website and uh, hardware, you can scroll down to enhanced features where you can find some um, different boards. And this Arduino Zero is um, close to what I'm using. And if you go down to tech specs, you can see that it has an operating voltage of 3.3 volts. And that's what you need to directly control our pumps. You could also use a dotted level converter if you, if you wanted to. But you cannot directly use the more regular variants of the Arduino boards. So let's get into it. This is a new Arduino project to which I have added this piece of code. It consists of read and write commands in the form of structs and these two functions read from pump and write to pump and these two functions take uh, a port and a command and uh, the read from pump gives back an, a 16-bit integer and the write to pump just gives back a bool as a success or fail this piece of code can be found on our github page together with examples on how to use it and uh, links to that will be in the video description. Let's start writing some code. First we need two serials, one for the pump and one for the serial monitor. Let's start with the serial monitor. And then we want one for the pump. Pump is connected to serial 1, which is uh, pin 0 and 1. It uses 9600 ball. To test this, we can send something to the serial monitor. Let's print hello world. And let's add a delay, two and a half seconds. Send this to the Arduino. See if it works. Hello world. Works fine. Next we need to include Savitech.h and what we want to do now is to try reading um, the pump speed. So we need to create a serial read command. Read from pump. Ah, sorry, read pump speed and to set it up we need copy paste always nice we need an address which is 382 in this case addresses for commands you can find in the datasheet and we need number of bytes which is 2 in this case um, it uses a 16-bit uh, unsigned integer which is actually the delay between pump strokes so a value of 0 is uh, when the pump is running at its maximum speed and it goes uh, down from there so to try this 
I want to create a variable pump speed read from pump let's pass the serial and the command let's check if this is uh, if it's a success or not if it can write it if it's less than zero then print an error message There we go, and let's finally print the pump speed. And the actual speed. Let's see if this works. Clear output. And we get error reading pump speed minus one, and we have hello world still there. Let's just fix this. Print line and remove the hello world. So, minus one and error reading. It's actually correct because I haven't turned on the pump. So, when turning on the pump, you get pump speed zero, which is maximum speed. Let's continue. So, we want a few more commands. Let's start with a write command, write pump speed. Pump speed one. Let's set it up. It's the same address and the same number of bytes. Data is the pump speed. Let's set it to five thousand. We want to check if it was successful and if not we want to print an error message. Let's pass the serial. And the command and Let's print the message. Let's try this. Cleared output. As you can see, there's a much lower flow right now. It's like 50 or 60. Before we had like 450 or something like that. And you can see in the in the log that uh, pump speed is set to 5000. So let's add a few more commands. We want another pump speed. Pump speed 2. Now we can just uh, copy and paste a bit. Pump speed 2, let's set that to 500, so a little bit faster. 
And then we can copy this. Pump speed two, and that let's send it to the Arduino. See what happens. Oh, there's an error. Oh, forgot to remove this. Try again. Oh, clear it. Now it should start. Pump speed 5000, pump speed 500. So it goes between a low value and a high value. All right, um, now I want to show you how to stop and start the pump. If you use a stop command, you always have to use the start command again to get it running. Otherwise you need to reset or remove power and apply it again. So let's start with the stop command. We can can do both. Stop and start. And the address is one twenty two. Number of bytes is two. And data should be zero. If you copy this. And we have start. I just want to prepare them before so we see what happens. Um, and in this case, the data is 220. Now we have them prepared. So let's add them here. So first we have like stop, bump. Start pump. Let's see what happens. Stop. Start. Set it to five thousand. Set it to 500, stop, start. So you can notice here that the pump speed is not changing when you stop it. It's always what you set it to before. It's just gonna start at the same value as before, unless you reset it or cycle the power. That's all for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. This is Vincent for Savitech. Talk to you in the next one.